Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to join a leather hard applique to a leather hard um, skull. And this is the same technique, no matter what you're making, if you're making the walking animal, if you're making a teapot, um, doesn't matter, you always join leather hard to leather hard. So to get started, I just wanna um, first start by showing you what tools you need. Um, you'll need, obviously, you'll have some pre-made um, appliques that you will have cut out with your needle tool. Sometimes you need to cut the knife, use it with the knife, and that's fine, but you'll definitely need a needle tool and a knife today. You'll also want scoring tools, sponge, and water. Okay, so I'm going to sit that to the side. And previously, you used a variety of um, applique makers, including the silicone and the plaster applique makers. And I wanna really stress that word variety. You should not be making just one of the same or, and you will have multiples and it should be a variety. That's what makes um, life interesting variety. That's what makes art interesting. So choose a good variety that actually go together. If you wanna pick a theme, some students choose nautical themes. Some people have just flowers with fruit and then a cross, but um, you could pick a theme or just make a nice variety and make it interesting. And that's one of our elements and principles that we'll be discussing for this project. So to come back for a skull, um, I don't want students to work on their um, blue trays. So I'm just gonna take my skull first and I gave them a little bit of a flat back so I can, for this demonstration, um, so I can um, work with ease. Typically he would stand like this, but if I just give him a little hump or thump on the table, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab some of these appliques and start scoring and slipping. The one that I'm a little bit nervous about is I made this um, headband, oh, there it happened. And that's a good, I meant to do that. But if you don't shape it well to the um, skull, you know, and initially you just let it sit on it um, and it can dry on it like that um, gradually. Um, and that makes life easier so it fits it right. Mine is a little large and so when I go to bend it, it wants to snap. But we'll see, I'm gonna introduce a little bit of water to it. Um, but the first thing I wanna do before I even start adding is to go in and just score and slip up the top of the head because I'm gonna be adding appliques all over it. And you can take a brush um, later on to, to get out those scoring marks. So uh, you know what, that's one other tool we should have. But you're gonna just score his head all up really nicely. So then that surface is scored and slipped and I'll go in and add some deeper scores and slips so that softens it up with the um, comb. Then I use my teriyaki chicken sticks. And you want the head really scored and slipped up wherever you're gonna be adding appliques. And like I said, later on, you can go in with the brush and um, take out those marks that might be showing. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just right over that, I'm going to start scoring okay, my little headband here. I lost a piece of it, but that's okay. It still will look good. And when you'll notice when you start reintroducing water into the clay, it's going to start getting flexible again. It's going to uh, gain back some of that plasticity because again, these were all leather hard. You have to start with leather hard. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of place it delicately, slowly, so it doesn't break on top. Ooh, it's working. And besides scoring and slipping, and this is what it looks like from this way, you have to add that ding, 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 under pressure. So you gotta add good pressure. And if this was not so leather hard, um, you would really mess it up. So see, so you can just go in later on and you can use your fingers and your brush and clean around that one. Okay, because that's my front. And I may end up putting something in the front of that, but for now I'm happy. Oh, I'll probably add a cross right in here and I'll have to score and slip that. So um, now I have the rest. So I have a lot of different variety of appliques that I, and, that I intend to use. And you may have extras you could always share with a friend, um, but I'm gonna go in and get some deep scoring marks. And again, it's hatching and cross hatching, this leather hard piece. And I think I'll add them way over here on the side right behind, and you can see right behind the headband. And there's a little crack there, and it's not a crack, it's just a stretch mark. Okay, but it'll give good pressure. Okay, now the next one. So you see I have a little bit of a start, 
and um, the next one I'm gonna do maybe on the other side and again these were just flowers and I cut them in half and I'll score and slip that one and this guy still has a lot of work to do. I still have to do a lot of impressing later on with our, those impressing tools. Um, but you know what, I might wait on that one and I might put in the middle this pineapple. Maybe I'll angle the pineapple, okay? And, but do I need to clean that pineapple up a little bit? Heck yeah. So um, go in and just go around with the sponge. You want everything to look smooth and nice and clean before see before you um, apply it it's it it'll get wobbly and break off later if you're trying to clean up appliques after they're applied you want to do it right whenever before you apply them okay so for now I'm happy with that and score and slip and maybe I'm gonna like angle it a little and again some of the um, Moisture has been reintroduced, so we have this a little bit flexible. And add a pineapple in there. And maybe I'll go back and add a flower. But before I maybe add the flower, maybe I want to add um, this bumblebee in front of the flower. So um, I already cut it at a little bit of an angle earlier. So I'll just score and slip that. And maybe he's in there angled too and I put good pressure on there. And now I'm gonna add that flower and kind of put it, do you see it? And it's, oh, let me make the camera angle a little bit different. So it's asymmetrical and I'm happy with that. Symmetrical can be boring sometimes. And I like how that dot in the middle of the flower landed right behind the bumblebee so it kind of looks like almost the bumblebee sitting on them. So it's rough in there, so I can wet my brush. Don't wet it too much, but I can get in and like twist it around and get that sloppy clay kind of cleaned up inside there. Okay, and I can come back to that later as well. But you see, I have a good start. Um, and just for contrast, well, you put it against the tray, okay? And um, maybe I'll continue going though. Wanna add, um, I'll lean it against the tray there. And I can add maybe this cross right down the middle there. Okay, and again, he's pretty firm. So um, hopefully when I reintroduce some water into this cross, um, it can give it a little bit of a bend. It'll get a little bit more plastic. And before I do that though, I have to slip and score here, right? No. And I know I'm going farther out than need be, but I'd rather go big or go home. So, and I'll slowly give it a little bend and it lands like right before the nose. I'm really satisfied the way that looks so far. You guys see it? Really satisfying when you it starts to come together. And this is just the beginning. I have lots of impressing to do. I'm gonna also take a dry brush. So I like having a wet dry brush and a dry brush and then maybe another one. So I have it dry next to me um, and go in and clean that up. Get that water out of those eyes so I don't get any cracks. And if I lose any of those impress impressings that are on there. Um, I can always go in back with my needle tool later on and clean them up and you'll see how it's kind of, <laughs> I'm gonna push that down a little bit more and you'll see some clay kind of squirt out of there. Um, that's a good thing. It means it's glued on really well. You have good pressure. And the important thing is to clean those scoring marks up right away because it makes it easier when they're very plastic. Um, I want to add another layer maybe, maybe to the back now. And just for, I'm going to work on the tray just because I want you to see the contrast. But um, kind of gauging of these different ones. I don't know, maybe I'm done there. Yeah, I think one more right in there might look good. Okay, so um, 
I scored and slipped a while back, but it's starting to get dry already. It's a hot day out and the door's open. So I'm just going to slip a little more there. And again, whatever I do on this one, I do whatever I do. What, whichever surface you slip and score, you got to do both, not just one. And again, they're nice and leather hard. They're not bending on me. And when I add that really good pressure, um, they don't lose, they don't distort or lose their shape because that's going to get problematic and you're not going to like your appliques very much. You're not going to be able to tell what they are. And there's been lots of instances where students, you know, add them when they're too soft and sure they may stay but they don't look very good so I have a start here I still have some smoothing to do on this skull I pulled them out maybe a little prematurely just so we could do this demonstration um, on the back though I want to get rid of all of those so I can even take my best tool my finger and smear around the back get rid of all those scummy little scoring marks and smooth them up and you know you can't get it in everywhere okay you just can't um but you can try and then if you can't get in there don't worry about it too much it's not that big of a deal um, people aren't going to be ogling it from the top you know but too much but i'm happy with the way this guy's getting started um keep watching you'll see as him or her and some of the others progress and um Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And you got to smash that notification button if you want to get updates when I or as I post more videos. All right. Thank you and have a wonderful evening. Bye bye.